I care about people. I care about the state of Arizona. I care about this nation. So because of that, I've decided that I'm launching a campaign for the United States Senate. Breaking news as of 6 a.m. this morning, retired NASA astronaut Mark Kelly announcing he is running for Senate here in Arizona. The husband of former Congresswoman Gabby Giffords kicking off his campaign with this video entitled My Next Mission, just posted online. Kelly is looking to fill Senator John McCain's old seat, which is currently held by Senator Martha McSally. Team 12 political insider Bram Rezek joins us live in Studio 12A this morning. Bram, now, are you surprised by how much attention this race is getting already? Uh, you mean he's announcing 18 months before the primary? Uh, the answer is no. In 2020, Arizona is going to be a battleground state again. Remember the 2018 midterms, more than $100 million spent on our U.S. Senate race. TV advertising nonstop. You're going to see the same thing again in 2020. Uh, and again, Arizona voters could determine who controls the U.S. Senate. The big thing right now is the money primary. The candidates racing to line up the money they're going to need to run in their primary and then in the general election. That starts right now. So let's take a closer look at astronaut and now candidate Mark Kelly. He'll be 55 years old next week. He was a Navy combat pilot and a space shuttle commander. He married then Congresswoman Gabby Giffords in 2007 in Tucson. Her survival of an assassination attempt in 2011 thrust them both into a new life as the nation's leading advocates for gun safety. Kelly is running for office for the very first time, but he has come a long way as a public figure over the last several years. He also enjoys the halo effect of the universally, universally beloved Gabby Giffords. Expect gun safety to be a top issue for him, and as we saw in his video this morning, even climate change. Fun fact, Kelly would be the third astronaut Ooh. elected to the U.S. Senate. All right, Bram, we'll push you on the spot. Who are the other two? We're going to get to oh, that. Okay. Spoiler alert. Spoiler <laughs> alert. Let's get to someone who's not running. No surprise that Kelly's making his announcement just four days after former Arizona Attorney General Grant Woods bailed out of the Senate oh. race. Race. They made, might have competed for the same Democratic voters, kind of in the same lane. Woods, a former Arizona Attorney General, was widely praised for his eulogy at Senator John McCain's funeral last September. That catapulted him into the national political spotlight. To many, he seemed like a logical Senate heir to McCain, his closest friend, filling many voters yearning for an independent candidate above politics. The lifelong Republican, Grant Woods, even re-registered as a Democrat just a few days after the midterms, but ultimately, Wood said he was turned off by the idea of a primary fight against I, other Democrats. I want to talk about Woods because people love him here in the Valley. Do you think that if he entered, this would have been his race? No. Really? He would have lost the primary. You think so? Uh, uh, candidates don't run because they think they're going to lose. Mm. And he would have had a really tough time. Acknowledging, yes, universally beloved, a uh, lot of love on social media. Tons. A huge lift after the McCain funeral. Right. But politically, it just wasn't, I don't think it was going to work. So who's next? Like, Thank you for asking. Well, Paul. yeah, no, it's okay. like, it's almost as if this segment's produced. <laughs> <laughs> almost. The next boot to drop in the Democratic primary could be from Marine veteran and two-term Phoenix Congressman Ruben Gallego. Gallego is a Marine veteran of Iraq and the most combative Democrat in our congressional delegation. He'd reached the party's progressive voters on issues like immigration, income inequality, access to health care, and red meat taking on President Trump. His ex-wife, Kate Gallego, right now is running for mayor of Phoenix. Ruben Gallego is widely expected to get into this mm -hmm. race. And I know that he is a, I mean, he's been on your show countless times. He's been on the show a lot. Uh, I spoke to him about four weeks ago where he laid out why he thinks he is the right person to run, largely because he believes he can expand the voter base in 2020, which is what Democrats are going to win, need to win the uh, Senate seat again. Kirsten Sinema having won in 2018. Mm -hmm. Now, they can't just walk away with this. Republican Senator Martha McSally will likely await the winner of the Democratic primary. That is, unless she gets herself primaried in August 2020, and you never know what's going to happen okay. in the Republican Party. She'll be trying to win her seat outright after being appointed to it by Governor Doug Ducey. McSally would be on the same ticket as President Trump in 2020, and given her challenges, Overcoming the Trump factor in 2018, 2020 could be even tougher. One last thing, whoever wins the Senate seat in 2020 will have to run again in 2022. That would have been the end of John McCain's term. 
and it will be the third U.S. Senate race in Arizona in four years. Okay, really wow. quickly, if I'm Martha McSally, what do I need to do if I want to keep my spot? Because all eyes are on her. She's walking a very tough line. She's got to please the base when it comes to President Trump and also reach out to independent voters. She's going to need to win this election and keep her seat in 2020. And what does Kelly have to do to establish himself as a political candidate now? What are you looking for over the next few weeks and months? This is going to be interesting. Mark Kelly has never been vetted other than as a... Uh, shuttle commander and uh, member of the U.S. Navy right. has not been vetted as a candidate. That's really tough. Mark Kelly has to prove he can be a good candidate. He's got a lot of help, but that's a, uh, believe it or not, that's pretty tough. We'll see what happens. Boy, it got interesting this morning. Thanks, Brandon.